guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And as promised, we're going to start growing radishes. But I was kind of trying to make it more sophisticated than it really should be. After doing a lot of research, I'm just going to use coconut core with a little bit of vermiculite and a little bit of perlite in it. Not because I really need it, but it does have minerals in it that should help the uh, radishes grow. Uh, basically, I'm just going to put them in uh, these tubs right here. Uh, I'm just going to start with one, get them started, and I have our new colored glow lights hooked up here. And I am using these little latches here. And I'll try to put links uh, where, of where I got these grow lights. And uh, so let me show you how they work real quick. Just put a little switch, and voila. Nice little growing lights. Now the one thing I've learned from another channel is not to let these glow lights or these uh, grow lights too close to the plants. They literally need to be higher than your normal grow lights. So we're going to be cautious about that and keep our lights a little bit higher. Uh, we do have a lot of natural light in here because this is what we call the sunroom. So uh, my next step is I'm going to take a brick of, uh, of my uh, coconut core and dissolve it in one of these buckets and I'm not sure if I need one brick or two so I'll start with one brick and see how much I got. So. Alright guys so the only coconut core I could get locally was this stuff here. Um, it's a bur burpees uh, <laughs> seed starting mix. Uh, I'm gonna put one of these in the bucket and add water right here and uh, and get it expanded and see how much this that'll fill this bucket. Then uh, after that, I'm going to add some uh, vermilite and perlite to it uh, as needed. I'm not going to put too much in, but I want the minerals. So let me get this uh, brick in here and add some water. Uh, so they say it's going to take about 15-20 minutes for it to really start soaking it in. I may have to add a little more water. We'll see. Um, I have grooves at the bottom of this, so I may have to tilt this and kind of put it in the corner. So let me do that. So I just took a little box and tilted it and put everything in the corner to allow this to soak up the water. And I can tell I'm going to have to add water. For those of you that haven't used coconut core before, all it is is coconuts it's been uh and then pressed together so when you add the water it just lets it break loose then we'll break it up with our hands and uh turn it into almost like a soil uh what's really nice about coconut core is it's very absorbent for water and two uh it's organic and very sterile it's very clean and so uh, uh this would be a great way to start our first hy um, hydroponic growth and hydroponic by the way just means no soil <laughs> is basically what it means. Uh, there's different processes, but this is what we're going to use. It'll be almost like planting in regular uh, dirt, except we got to add nutrients to it. And I'm adding some uh, volcanic uh, oil ad additives to give it a little bit of minerals. So anyway, let's get this broken down. Well, I got the first brick broken down already, and uh, it's not going to be enough, but it's it's pretty good. I'm going to do one more brick, and then take a look at that. I really don't have, have to have my my dirt too deep. I'm growing radishes, so they grow towards the top. So I'll get this expanded out and see what we got. All right, so I'm, I'm done with the... I think this is plenty of uh, coconut core. The next thing I'm going to do is add my two different um, mixtures in. Uh, I'm going to add permalite in not because it retains water but it helps aerate the the, the soil and then uh, <laughs> vermiculite oh <laughs> I'm not saying these right I'm going to add some of that in um, it retains water but it has some minerals in it which should be good for I'm going to do about a bowl each of a uh, of each uh, volcanic rock and see how we do all right, so I got a bowl of perlite. I'm just going to put it in here on the side and uh, 
then go get my other one and then add that in and uh, blend it. Okay, since I can't pronounce this very well with vermilite or <laughs> whatever it is, um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to add that in and then I'm going to blend all three until I have them mixed the way I want it and I'm pretty much ready to go. This is my finished product. It uh, actually just looks like potting soil. Uh, the only difference is there's no soil in here whatsoever. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, actually get my radishes. In. Uh, I'm going to try to find, I have a lot of radishes, find my fastest growing radishes for this experiment. Okay, so I picked out the seeds I'm going to use. The radishes are called Early Scarlet Globe um, from uh, their Valley Green product. Um, they're, uh, they mature with uh, about 21 to 24 days. So in less than a month, I should have, hopefully, um, radishes in here. So what I'm going to do is plant these in. Um, pretty good spacing. And uh, let them germinate. And then we'll put them under the light. So uh, I am not doing nutrients till they uh, germinate. Then we'll start uh, doing a solution on them to uh, make them grow fast. So I forgot to tell you that I was going to uh, soak my seeds for a little while. And then to plant them, I'm just going to use a little stick. And get them to stick to each one and then plant them in, uh, into the bucket and we'll see how we do so that's the plan anyway so guys I'm in my living room and I thought I'd just do a brief little thing here we have a, a 55 gallon aquarium and we have angelfish in it and they've actually hatched babies now we don't know if they'll be successful but if you want to see a cool phenomenon um, I'm going to show you right now uh, the little babies are swimming around their mom and dad We don't know if they're going to make it through there. Usually the other fish will eat them. We really don't want more fish. But it is amazing to watch. Um, the process of the angelfish uh, laying their eggs and being so protective. And they actually got them hatched. So it was amazing. So guys, I have very little light in here. So I'm going to turn on my glow lights to see if it can see me better. And uh, anyway, so we did get this planted and ready to go. I need to wait for them to germinate so I don't really need to grow, grow lights. So uh, anyway, our ex experiment has begun. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.